The practice of drilling for natural gas and oil in the water is universally considered to be unethical. On the other hand, there are a lot of reasons to conclude that it has a positive overall influence on the country. Offshore drilling has the potential to result in a number of positive outcomes, including improvements to the economy, international status, and the environment. In addition to this, this is contingent on there being ongoing financial investments in the nation's oil production. Now, China, which has 61 drilling platforms, has just disclosed its horrifying new oil discovery, which will change everything about the entire planet forever. The discovery by Chinese researchers of the country's first huge deep water and deep strata gas field represents a significant advancement in the country's scientific community. There is a gas field in the sea to the southeast of Hainan province that has reserves that have been confirmed to be greater than 50 billion cubic meters. Now, this is a really significant step forward for the government in terms of their aspirations to hasten the exploration of the deep sea. And this is really important for the country to continue to be energy independent. According to a recent announcement made by the China National Offshore Oil Corporation, often known as Kanok, the known as Kanok, the new gas field would be known as Bow Down 211. Furthermore, it was the greatest major breakthrough in drilling in the southern and boundary region in the nearly half a century that followed it. Deep water is defined as having a depth of more than 300 meters, and it is typically the focus of offshore oil and gas exploration. In addition, the depth of a well is considered to be deep if it is greater than 3,000 meters. Experts say that the terrible down 21 one gas field can be found in a region of the deep water that is located to the southeast of Hainan Island. It is able to function at depths that are larger than 1,500 meters and has a finish while it taps depths that are greater than 5,000 meters. And due to these circumstances, it is exposed to marine geological conditions that are exceptionally severe, particularly because Skechno is the financer. Head geologist Wook Yang put it bow down 21. One proved about SAG's potential for further exploration, and he also pointed to the fact that China has achieved a significant technological advance in the realm of deep water drilling. Wook Yang said, this proved that SAG has the potential for further exploration. In addition, researchers believe this has significant repercussions for locating further formations of this type. Lin Bo Kyung, who is the chairman of the Center for Energy Economics Research at Simon University, asserts that the deep sea and deep earth exploration technology that China possesses is among the very finest in the world. Her assertion is that the discovery will also contribute to the acceleration of the development of other exploration instruments of a similar nature. In addition to this, it provides the country with the opportunity to showcase its innovative technology capabilities on a potential state. Lin also noted that the recently found gas field will assist in ensuring that China's supply of energy would be stable, considering the ever-increasing price of natural gas across the globe. Additionally, this plan would guarantee that the government will be able to meet the rising energy needs of its inhabitants. According to Knuk, the Bowdown 21, one is located approximately 150 kilometers from deep sea number one, According to a news agency, China's independently generated ultra-deep ocean gas deposit was just recently discovered. Since it began operating on June 25, 2021, the Deep Sea No. 1 extraction platform has successfully recovered more than 2 billion cubic meters of natural gas. The question therefore becomes, why is China installing so many oil rigs offshore? oil rigs are, without a doubt, beneficial to the economy as well as the employment market, and the rest of the world as a whole will eventually begin to reap the benefits of a healthy oil market. Shipping, many modes of transportation and other forms of travel are extremely important for such a large country as China. Additionally, decreased market prices for oil and gas have a rippling effect across the economy, resulting in lower pricing for consumer goods and services across the nation. And to put the cherry on top of it all, it has the ability to assist individuals as well as small businesses in saving money. The extraction of crude oil is made easier by the use of offshore drilling and oil rigs, which are two of the most effective methods. This is to the benefit of the entire industry. In addition, China recently achieved two world records in the field of deep sea energy exploration. Now, China's self-developed multi-purpose modular seabed Trenta Sheen Long 3 was used to lay the foundation for Bangladesh's first offshore pipeline project, which stretches for more than 100 kilometers in total length. 
Both the deep sea trenching behind the canal as well as the sea landing directional drilling are making their debut here. According to the Exiong Long series designer, this project is being carried out as a part of the Belt and Road initiative, and it requires six directional drills to reach a depth of 11.9 meters underground in order to avoid commercial and naval waterways. This is a challenge that has never been faced before in the annals of global maritime engineering, and it is unprecedented. In an interview with China Media Group, the general manager of CP stated that a depth of 5 meters below the seabed is already a challenge for the offshore company. In addition, he mentioned that the depth is usually somewhere between 1.5 and 3 meters on average. In recent years, China has seen an increase in the production of locally created technology and equipment for use in offshore oil and gas exploration. This growth has been accompanied by an increase in the country's oil and gas production. Additionally, the nation saw a growth in the amount of financial and human resources that were allocated to the business, which was a positive development. After a total of 12 years of conducting research and development, Swansea eventually became Knooks. It is a technology that combines rotational steering, drilling, also known as Rock D, and logging while drilling, also known as LORAR. The goal of this technology is to improve the efficiency of offshore oil and gas exploration. The China National Offshore Oil Corporation, NUCS, asserts that the Sichuan oil field is the most productive offshore oil field in China. In addition, the system's precision and drill control allow for the oil layer to be accurately targeted from thousands of meters below the Earth's surface. Through the thin oil layer that is 0.7 meters thick, the drill might even be able to be remotely driven to travel more than a thousand meters in either a horizontal or oblique direction. In addition, Swansea is capable of doing real-time stratigraphic analysis, which, among other benefits, contributes to a reduction in the overall cost of oil and gas exploration. It is also possible that it will make the efficient and cost-effective production of additional oil and gas resources in the ocean more feasible. Since its one platform went down 100 feet now in 2012, China's offshore oil and gas exploration industry has been making progress, and this trend is expected to continue. Six vessels with the ability to perform engineering work at depths of 3,000 meters or deeper have been put into service. This event also marks the beginning of China's rapid upgrading of machinery used in the extraction of deep water oil and gas. A submerged oil and gas production and storage platform weighing 100,000 tons was awarded to Qinghai as part of the ASM competition. On June 25, 2021, operations were launched in the seas that lie off the coast of the province of Hainan in China. The operators of the well, Knus, announced on February 13 that the well had generated more over 1 billion cubic meters of natural gas. The high one was placed in the South China Sea on April 11th. The height of this deep water jacket, which was manufactured in China, is an impressive 302 meters, making it the highest structure in all of Asia. The 30,000 ton high G1 will conduct operations in the eastern South China Sea, which is located approximately 200 kilometers southeast of Hong Kong. The tall one is also used as a drilling platform for oil and gas in offshore location. In addition, China is making history by developing and installing a permanent jacket in this body of water for the first first time. In addition to this, this also contributes to the expansion of the Greater Bay Area, which includes Hong Kong and Macayo in addition to Guangdong. Now, according to data compiled by the Chinese government, China will account for 55 of global production and delivery of maritime engineering equipment in 2021, with 119 sets of equipment produced and shipped. Also, by the end of March of this year, orders for 273 offshore engineering vessels had been placed with China's domestic enterprises that specialize in offshore engineering equipment. This number accounted for 54s of the total number of orders placed worldwide. Read on to learn more about Russia's involvement in the crisis in Ukraine. The oil rigs in China are very important to keeping energy and gasoline prices down in the United States. And with the addition of Dow 21, one to the combination, the future of the country appears to be fairly bright at this point. Just click on these videos right here to know more about more secret news you didn't know about.